I take to the skies. I stand ready. A chance to earn some praise. It has to be done. I won't hold you back. I need to rest. You'll not be disappointed. Go easy on you. Dismiss me as a frail little rat at your own peril. What's a Bestral doing declaring war on his own people? As if a human like you would ever understand. But you'll see soon enough. All will be clear once I'm proclaimed the King of Bastorius. Looks like we've got ourselves a pest problem. Go on. Talk all you want. You'll make a marvelous pelt on my wall. I'll end you all! Ah! I was worried there. Faith in you. How sad! Painful. You can't hit me! <sighs> I think not! Watch and learn! You may get burnt. I never doubted myself. Blasphemous fool. I'll never. 
never hold myself back. Yes, you're actually one of us. But that build is quite unlike others of your bloodline. How have you acquired such raw strength? <sighs> You've seen it often enough. The spell that sends us bestrals into a wild frenzy. I was one of many test subjects for its effects. Granted this power by Lord Baltro himself. I was the only success. The others all lost their minds, became impossible to control. Hence you needed the blue. Precisely. You'll find documents proving as much on this ship. Do with them what you will. I'm glad I got to glimpse this dream, however brief it was. A lowly mouse, risen to the ranks of Grand General, even if just for a moment. I wanted to create a new home, a new kingdom for my people, free them from their lives resigned to the shadows of Pastorius. And for once, they'd have a place to live. Proud, not scurrying in fear through our darkest corners. We all share that thirst for freedom. And had you not resorted to such vile methods, we may well have fought together to quench it. Let's go find those documents. We can't let this happen ever again. We've located the documents El Gore spoke of. Records concerning the Bistorius Blue and Baltro's magic. Once we've destroyed them, all of this will finally be over. Indeed. Though, one passage stood out as I was surveying the texts. It claimed that the Blue not only holds the ability to control the minds of us Bestrals, but that it also bears the power to birth humans anew. What does that mean? One of our ancient texts speaks of a similar phenomenon. Make of them beasts, that their every labor be compelled by the crystal before you. Slow down, Ramona. What's all this mean exactly? That the blue can turn humans into bestrals? That's the short of it. Morard? I guess it's time to finally come clean. I used to be a human myself. On that fateful day eight years ago, I was here serving as a soldier in the Zenoiran army. We had marched on the resting ground of the great lions of old, but the battle we were met with was more terrible than I'd ever seen. Zenoira's blatant disregard for the lion's ancestry provoked the rage of their bloodline. And so my army took the king's daughter hostage in the hopes of threatening their kind into submission. But I hadn't the stomach for such Spineless methods. I abandoned Zenoira and chose to side with the lions instead. At the end of that arduous, bloody fight, we had succeeded in rescuing the girl, but I myself had fallen into an enemy trap. 
The last thing I saw as I lay dying on the ground was the King of the Lions, holding a radiant blue stone above my body. When I awoke, I was... well, you can imagine. It would seem the Pistorius Blue holds far greater power than any of us had ever realized. I'm living proof of that, yes. But I'm grateful. I wouldn't be standing here without it. And I'd never have met all you kind people. Oh, Morard. Ramona, see to it those papers are destroyed. Too many have had their lives distorted by that grim knowledge. Human and bestral alike. Yes. I believe that will be in everyone's best interest. I appreciate it. More than you could know. And where do you think you're going? Uh. Unifi. To be honest, I'm not sure. As far away as possible. But why? I don't belong here. Not like the rest of you. Because you used to fight for Zenoira? That's right. I've known all this time, and I lied to you over and over again. I don't deserve to stay. Not after what I've done. How can you even say that? We might not look the same, but you're family to me, Morard. And don't think for a second that we'd be better off without you. But I... Besides, hearing your story helped me realize something. This sliver of the blue that's set in my pendant. It's a symbol of the Bastorius royal family. Which means it used to belong to the Lion King's daughter. Right? That's... If the stone can turn a man into a lion, it's not so weird to think it can do the opposite, too. So you see, we're really the same when it all comes down to it. Unifi... Are you sure you want me here? Never been sure. You've been with me every step of the way, and I'm not letting that change anytime soon. <laughs> Sounds like I have to stay then. Thank you, Unifi. You're the best family a lion could ask for. We've liberated vital strategic points throughout Bastorius, and in so doing, loosened Zenoira's grip on the land. Now, this is the state of Fevrith at present. Where to next, then? If I may, Elaine. I'm worried about my father. The Pontifex, that is. I understand it's a bit far, but... How would you feel about making the trek to Albion? More than happy. I recall ships for its shores departing from the western tip of Bastorius. Let us head for Port de Vulpes.